Welcome to this video on hull form modelling from point cloud data by Dougal Harris and Patrick Hauser. So in this video we're going to see with an example how you can go from point cloud data to a NURB surface model in the Lions plan. We're going to look at reviewing the point cloud data and filtering the data, the use of background images to assist with the fitting, how you can set up a design grid and especially stations and again use that for filtering the point cloud data and how you can go about generating a NURB surface model to fit the point cloud. So you're going to first start with a series of photos um, that have been used to generate the point cloud and the point cloud needs to be tidied up so that it can be used in MaxSurf. It is possible to do this in MaxSurf and maybe Excel, but often there's specific point cloud data manipulation tools which are well suited to rotating, scaling and translating the point cloud into the right coordinate system. So here we can see these, the filtered point cloud data. Modeler provides some basic point cloud tools, including filtering so you can reduce large data sets to the 60,000 points that Modeler can handle. Also, you can translate the data, rotate and scale it. More complicated calculations can, or manipulations can be done in Excel or other tools. Here we're going to show a quick example of importing a text-based point cloud and filtering the points to reduce the density from 6 million to about 60,000. And there you can see the imported data set which can help you check the data. We can also do some simple manipulations to the data set like rotation or translation. Here we're just rotating the data to get it in the correct alignment. You can also copy and paste the data and do further manipulations in Excel for example. And here the quick way of scaling the data. And we're also going to flip the sign of the Y axis. So it's just a matter of entering your formulas, copying the data and then pasting it back in. And now we're going to look at how you can bring in the point cloud data at specific um, section locations which assist in the manual fitting process. What we have done is saved the markers as a text file format and then re-import them. This time we are going to say that we only want <coughs> markers that lie within a certain tolerance of the station location. So we've set up the station locations and import and now we only have markers that lie on the specified stations. This will aid in the fitting process. It is also useful to import a background image in profile view. We have an old set of plans you need to set up the reference zero point for the image and also a reference length to scale the image appropriately. Now we will add a simple surface and begin the process of fitting this surface manually to the markers. We'll add a few extra columns to the control point net and in body plan view we, we can add some rows to the control point net. We can turn on a single section line and a single set of control points and go through and start to fit the surface manual to these markers. The fitting is an iterative process so you need to switch between all the views 
and the different rows and columns in the control point net. Now we are starting to get something that looks like a vessel. Here we are towards the end of the process where we are fine tuning the section lines to fit the markers. Once we have the hull shape we can go in and add the decks and keel to create a closed volume for the vessel. I then added a rudder and cut out for the prop. The spars were then added. These were simply added by adding a showing a uh, adding a background image of the vessel that contained the bow sprit mast and boom. I could then go ahead and add a set of sails and also the coach roof. <coughs> Again the co coach roof was added just from the background image. To generate a set of lines plans we need a DXF file. So we turn on only the surfaces that we want to be included in the lines plan as well as the contours we want to be included. So we have our buttock lines, our section lines and also our water lines. The diagonals can be turned on. Once you have a model in the state ready for export you simply go file export lines plan just export it as a DXF file finally you can open it in a CAD package of your choice here we are using Bentley MicroStation the user can then do modifications of the two-dimensional drawing to their own custom lines plan format. I hope this tutorial has been of use and thank you for watching.